We're all set with motherfucking Max Bev. Max. <laughs> well, well, okay. Well. <clears throat> so that was a good interview. <clears throat> um, I'll, uh, I'll talk <clears throat> to you guys later. <laughs> Ali, <laughs> what's going Ollie. on, man? How you doing, today, brother? Doing good. How are you doing? Not too shabby, man. Not too shabby. Nice. What's it? What threads are you wearing right now? What's that shirt? Um, this is some like moths to flames. Okay. Um, on the shirt, we got some a pale face beanie going on. Mm. This is my favorite beanie right now. Nice. Um, yeah, I'm just wearing gym shark shorts. I went comfy on the bottom. You know, on the bottom. Isn't that the Zoom lifestyle, right? You just yeah. you got you got to look great top half and then bottom yeah. half it just doesn't fucking matter yeah. no as long as i'm not standing up for this yeah, right that's the main thing well i was gonna require you to stand up halfway okay. through so i mean it's that's whatever fine. it's they're just gray gym shark shorts yeah. it could be worse could be worse gym shark's a good company i like them um yeah, comfy yeah i uh so yeah all my content is sitting down like i sit down for all my mm. videos so i i constantly am wearing like a band tee or something but then i've got joggers on <laughs> underneath yep um yep Dude, where are you from? I'm picking up an accent here. So I was born in England. Okay. Um, moved to the States with my family in 2002. Okay. Um, so there's a slight accent. Yeah, I was going to say, it kind of comes in and out a little bit. <laughs> Certain words. Now you mentioned it. I'm going to try to just not have it. Um, no, I mean, it, it just comes in certain words, certain phrases. Yeah. Like when I was in school, it would be the kind of thing where if I was doing like a presentation, mm -hmm. they would be like, where, where are you the first question would be where are you from mm -hmm. that because i wouldn't it would just like turn on and off um so yeah so it's yeah. slight whenever i like see my parents it kind of comes out a bit more oh i bet um, yeah yeah so did you get comes and goes so what grade were you in when you moved to the u.s um oh like first grade oh, okay did you get picked on at all for the accent um oh i don't think i got picked on for the accent oh, no. that's the dog i got <laughs> picked on um i got picked on for being english by yeah. Americans. Um, <laughs> We're the worst, that's man. That's about Fucking it, though. Worst. Oh, my gosh. No, one of my best friends in grade school, he he moved here from England, too, and he had a slight English accent. And uh, But again, we were dickhead American kids, so we just called him British Joel. He wasn't even from Britain. Yep. He was, But we were just like, British Joel, British Joel. You know, oh, just God. very, very mean spirit. But he's my best friend, and I still yeah. made fun of him. Yeah. Oh, I get made fun of today at, at work. It, it, like something will come up and they'll just start doing an English accent. And I'm like, guys, I can't be doing this. I can't be doing this anymore. It's it, too long. It had to play in though when you got older though, because like an English accent is like, you know, it's kind of like a sexy thing, right? Like for don't well, like... For, maybe ask the fiance, <laughs> I guess. Right. <laughs> maybe you tell me. I don't yeah. know. I'm turned uh, on. I don't know, man. I'm feeling it. <laughs> Ooh, this is a spicy Twitch stream right here. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm trying to get uh, some terms of service slapped against me on this episode. I'm trying to really right. get taken down. I'm gonna go out in a blaze of glory, you know. There we go. <laughs> love it, love it. Uh, Matt, so dude, I love your content. Been following you for a while on TikTok. We've been friends, chatting through the DMs yeah. and whatnot for a while now. Um, I just had Dakota on recently, nice. Uh, which you know, a good friend of ours as well. Yes. cool dude. And we were just uh, we were shit talking you hardcore, just like really just dragging you through the mud. Me? Yeah, no, oh, no, no, we were we were actually singing your praises of how about how much oh. we love your style of editing for your content. Anyone that doesn't follow Matt already, go check him out. It's just at uh, Matt Bevan TT, yeah. right? On, on Instagram, it's with the TT. Okay. On TikTok, it's without the TT. Yeah. So he makes rock and metal focused, you know, content. But your editing is just fucking bananas. Like I've never seen somebody put so much effort into editing a twenty second video about fucking Lorna Shore in my life. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. It's too much. It's too no, much. sometimes, sometimes I like make a video and it will take me a couple hours, and I watch it back, and I'm like, I don't know if this was worth all that, yeah. all that effort to do this. But sometimes it is, sometimes it's not though. I do, I feel you. Like, I mean, I'll spend a couple hours editing my videos and like I don't have any like CGI transformer shit happening in mind, but like it'll, it'll take even me a couple hours to edit something. I'm like, oh man, yeah. I really hope this does well. I hope this gets views because if not, yeah. like this is a lot of time. Yeah. Like what's it look like for your creative process from like the time that you come up with a, a banging ass creative concept to the time you actually post a video. Like what are you, what are you looking like time-wise and what's your editing style like, oh. or your transitions like? I mean, it definitely depends. Like I've had some videos do really well that have just come to me just on the spot. The best example is the brand of sacrifice one with like the choir. Okay. Um, 
I made a song where it's like, if you know Brand Sacrifice, Lifeblood, the end of the song, it's got like a choir bit in it. And I was listening to that song on the way home from work. And I was like, just listen to it. And I'm like, oh, this is, this is a great idea. So I went home, yeah. filmed it, edited it. Took me like 30 minutes. I'm good to go. Um, sometimes, like today is more of my days off. So I basically pace around my living room <laughs> behind here and just walk around and just start like saying like, like relatable things. So I start with like the punchline of the joke. Wait, are you just muttering to yourself? By <laughs> much, yeah, yeah. Or, or talking it. to the dog or talking to the dog. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just like basically trying to think of the punchline first. Like yeah. what, what am I going to try and get the point, the point across? Mm -hmm. um, and then I try and like fit an idea around to that. Sometimes the song will come first. Like yeah. I'll hear a song and I'm like, I want to fit that song into a video. And then I go from there. Sometimes it's, I've got an idea and then I've got to try and find the right song the right to fit to that. Um, like if there's like a curse word that I want to use, or if there's like a specific lyric that like fits in to mm -hmm. the, to the theme of it. Um, sometimes it will take me hours and sometimes I'm just sitting at the computer, just like scrolling through Spotify, like going through like all the Slipknot songs. Like I know I want to use a Slipknot song cause they're angry mm -hmm. and I, they, that's the right vibe I'm looking for but I don't know what song. So I'm like, I'm like, I'm like listening to the songs, like watching through the lyrics on Spotify, yeah. just like, hey, is there anything here that fits? So there's not like one way I do it. Um, I used to do a lot more content like outdoors, which I want to get back doing too. Um, and again, that was just like standing on the side of the road, like <laughs> filming stuff. Um, but I, I enjoy what I, the, the kind of content I make because it's it's kind of, I'm trying to think of like fresh ideas each time. And yeah. sometimes it's when we're talking about the editing style, um, I, I maybe I have something I want to learn, like yeah. learn how to do this kind of transition or- Oh, so you're like seeing like my effect or something screen. that you like and yeah. you want to try to incorporate it. That's cool. Yeah, so it's like, I remember one, like I wanted to learn how to do like a flashback sequence. So it mm -hmm. was like, you know, when they go into like a flashback and the screen goes all like wobbly and stuff. So I was like, okay, cool. Like I would like to learn how to do that transition. But now I'm just gonna fit a, an idea to it. Yeah. So sometimes it just depends. Honestly, it just depends. Um, so what made like when you first started making content? Did you start making like the the fucking Michael Bay style content like right off the bat, or did you like start off like no. simple stuff? No. So the fun story is that I started making TikToks just to, just as a social experiment. I was talking with one of my coworkers about this yesterday, actually, because he he laughs about it because I've known him before I did any sort of social media. And like, he remember, he was telling me, he's like, I remember when you just walked into work one day and you were like, Let, I'm just going to see how easy it is to get followers on social media. Yeah. And uh, because you would see like the Charlie D'Amelio's, mm -hmm. you know, just doing it. And I'm just like, the content, they're just dancing the music. I'm like, how yeah. hard can it be? There's no So creative. I just started like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I just started making content, this random content, just mm -hmm. totally random, not metal focused at all. Because I thought that was like, not gonna gain any traction like not that many people like metal mm -hmm. music comparatively to the rest of the world right so i just started making anything and then i made one video that was like metal music like it was just like when you when someone's shocked that someone listens to metal music and it did well mm -hmm. and i was like oh okay like maybe there's something about this i made another one it did well again i'm like cool like now i'm sinking in because i already listened to metal music but yeah. it was like it kind of matched up my interests to this project and then it was just funny from there because it was like when i when i first started just you know, can I swear? Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah. Oh, sweet. So when I just started shit posting, <laughs> yeah. right? I, I wasn't getting anywhere. I was getting no views, nothing and nothing, nothing. And then when I started making metal music or TikToks and videos, I was like, oh, like this is, this is working. And it's also what I enjoy listening it's, to. Anyway. Yeah. It's fulfilling at the same time. Yeah. So, um, yeah. And so that it probably took me about six months before I started like posting metal content or like yeah. heavy music content, whatever, what have you. Um, yeah. And that's the point when you started like incorporating like more like uh glitchy effects and more yeah. animations and stuff. Yeah. I think um I, I at at first I didn't want it to be just a total waste of my time. Yeah. So I was like, well, yeah. why don't I edit why don't I like learn something? So I edit on Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay. So I was like, why why don't I learn a skill mm -hmm. while I do it that I could apply in, in the real world on a put on a resume that I'm great at using yeah. these, you know, different systems. So you had no so past like, experience with like video editing or like um, like no, wow. No, okay. I, I, I always loved the idea of like yeah. being like a social media, or like a YouTuber or whatever. So I was like, well, why don't I just like, this was over COVID. So I was like, why yeah. don't I just learn this skill while I have nothing to do? I'll just learn this new skill, see what happens. And then there you go. Just watching YouTube videos and, um, the thing of ideas and just like, how do I learn how to do this? Do a YouTube video. 
find out how to do it. Maybe it's like downloading a like a, a drop file of how to do it, or it's just like using keyframes and stuff like that. Yeah. And then I started learning how to do it. Um, so now I have, if, if social media collapses, like if my just accounts just right. vanish, I still have that as something I've gained from it regardless. Yeah, that's a good so, point. Um, like you could actually go yeah. into like making content like on any platform at that point with, you know, mm -hmm. the knowledge of, you know, cause like you say, you're creating it outside of TikTok. So you've got the, yeah. the skills set there. And like, I, what yeah. I've loved about your videos is there, there's a lot of people in our space that will make content about in, in the style of music and stuff, or it's just like music creators in general, where it's just kind of low effort content where it's just kind of like them staring at the screen with some text on the, you know, some text. And then it's just like the song. And it gets millions of views and like no hate, like whatever you got to do, whatever works for you. That's totally cool. If you just have a certain look that people gravitate towards and like you get a lot of views off it, I am not hating on it. I'm just saying like when I spend four hours editing and writing a script out and all this shit, and then you do the same song, but like, like it's, it's like, it's a little frustrating, a little disheartening. So, but that's why yeah. I love your content. Cause I look at yours. I'm like, okay, this dude is definitely putting the time and he deserves every goddamn view <laughs> that comes into him. I, I appreciate that. I mean, I, I agree. Like it, yeah. it again, I wish, I wish, I wish I right. could do nothing right. <laughs> and, and just get views. No, it's like for real. Like I wish I could just stand somewhere and just put some text on the screen and get a million views. Like I wish I could do that. But yeah. unfortunately that's for whatever reason, not for me. Yeah. So, you know, I, I, then I think, okay, well, if I, if I can't do that, then I'm just going to go and put in all the effort I can mm -hmm. to go and make it work. Like, there's no excuses. Like if, if I want to do this, then I've got to put in the effort. Right. You know, yeah, like, that's what you want to go down. It. Yeah. Like if, if I want to pursue this, then I've got to just grind, grind and see what I can do. I mean, sometimes it is like disheartening when, you know, of the songs popping off and I put in hours into a video and someone just stands and does like a dance and right. they use. Or doesn't even dance. Um, just like looks provocative. Like, hmm. You know? yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, again, I wish I could do it. Yeah. I say it all the time. Like I wish, I wish. It's just not good looking enough, you know? I, I mean, maybe we need to be funnier looking. Maybe that's the thing. Maybe we should like maybe. start putting like weird colors in our beards or something. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's the Honestly, thing. Honestly, it would probably work. Yeah. We just try that out. Speaking of, yeah. has there been any content that you feel like, aside from like that, that you've tried that just hasn't worked out? Like a, like a concept or something? You've, you've, you've tried it multiple times, multiple angles. Like, I just fucking can't get this concept to work. I know it's kind of a broad question, Ooh. but. I feel like there, there has to be. Um, yeah, there is actually. Like, I'm. I, there's, I'm trying to get like the concept of like going inside someone's brain. <laughs> so like, so like, so you know, Elon like that's so raven. <laughs> yeah, well, kind of, you know, yeah. like, that's a raven, right? You yeah, know, yeah. show from this channel. Okay, like, yeah. they stare and they go into the eye yeah. and they're like, yeah. So I want to try and get that and like go inside the mind of like a heavy music listener. Oh, cool. And, like, and then, so I'm trying to basically merge the that's so raven <laughs> with like, you know, the SpongeBob, episode oh, where yeah, he's like yeah. inside the brains of people running around on fire yeah yeah like i'm trying to get like that the combination of the two like us nice. on the outside yeah and then zooming in and then what's going on in the brain <laughs> oh um, man but i just can't get it like can't figure it out. the idea is there um and maybe it just requires some different editing style or yeah learning something new i've tried it a few times and it's just, just not come really out. come off which is unfortunate because i think the idea is good yeah um i think it's a great uh, idea I'm, on paper, it sounds yeah. good. Yeah, I know there's a. I, I want to. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. No, no, you go. <laughs> no, 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 you go. No, no, no please. please. I know please. there's a few uh, styles of music that uh, like I've tried to like that I'm passionate about that I've tried to like put out there. Like I love yeah. the blue collar kind of punk, like uh, the Gaslight Anthem, the Menzingers. Mm -hmm. That kind of like that, like a you know Detroit style pop punk. <laughs> pizza style yeah you know and uh for whatever reason whenever i post about that like my audience just does not give a shit and i try so many times because i love it but it's like i finally came to the realization it's like all right this is just for me like i'm i'm just the one that enjoys yeah. it you know yeah oh I, I agree i i feel that way with um like trap metal oh uh, okay yeah like i love trap but like um dropout kings i love mm. um there's a band called that our house nice. that i love yeah. um, i think they're great and like yeah. all i like, talk about them and people just they're just not about it. I'm yeah. like, that's, I guess that's fine. I, I'll still push them. I'll still make videos about them. Um, but yeah, just people don't, at least from my space. It is weird. Is, it's frustrating yeah. sometimes when like you, cause the people are following you for your taste, yeah. but then it's like when you show them your taste, they don't respond. It's like, oh, well shit. <laughs> yeah. Right. 
Uh, I, I agree. I agree. I've noticed you started doing, which I love. Uh, you're invading on my fucking turf here, but I love it. I was going to say, I, I can't deny that you are some sort of an inspiration for that. <laughs> I love it. The music um, news segments you've been doing every week. Yeah. I, I've, dude, I, I'm not one of those people that's like, come think of it as a competition. I think we need as many people as possible doing this and getting the, the music news out there because like yeah. the more content creators there are making you know content around this style of music the bigger it gets and the more opportunities we all get you know i don't think it should be like yeah. one or two people at the top um but i i love what you're doing with i love this idea of this like uh this weekly like recap like breakdown of what's going on in the music news world like what kind of prompted you to start doing those um i think just monotony for on my side yeah. of things like i i i was making a lot of what I, what I consider like skit content where yeah. it's like, just like it's a punchline, like do something stupid or silly or like play two people. <laughs> and I kind of was like thinking like, okay, like this is, and it was starting to like kind of the novelty was wearing off a little okay. bit, you know, like I've done 400 videos Damn, that man. are in the same vein. Like it's not the same. Oh, sometimes it is the same joke, but, yeah. but um, I was like, I need to just change it up. Like just do something different. Right. Um, so I, you know, I, I love what you, honestly, like, I love what you do. Oh, thanks, man. And I was like, okay, like, I don't just want to copy what mm -hmm. he's doing because again, that's just like, I, I know, I know you, you, you just said that you want everyone to, but again, it's kind of a dick move just to just copy what you're <laughs> well, doing. Well, right? if you were for like word for word copy me, then yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Of course. But yeah. I was like, okay, so, you know, I, and I know I don't want to do it every day because yeah. I still like doing the skits. So I was like, mm -hmm. okay, like, what if I do like a, like a news broadcast kind of roundup? Mm -hmm. of, of what i just think it's not like what's in necessarily in the news yeah like i'm not like doing it based off of like this person said this and oh my god can yeah. you believe it but it's just showing people music that's come out in the past week that i enjoy and that's you know? what's great yeah because it gives it more of like yeah. like your skit stuff gives you obviously the viewers a lot of your personality but it gives like this <laughs> like character of your personality, yeah. you know, whereas like the news segments, I feel like was, that's generally you, like that's generally you talking. Yeah. That, that's why I first picked up on your accent, by the way, is when you started doing those. I'm like, oh shit, wait, does he have like an accent? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, so, cause that was cool. Cause like, yeah, I feel like I'm got to know you more through those videos than I did with your skits. Because again, they feel, yeah. those feel like more like a character, even though I know they reflect, you know, your humor yeah. and everything like that. But yeah, I, I yeah. mean, they're definitely a character. Yeah. Like, they're definitely over the top. Yeah. And, like, some people will, like, you know, you always get, like, the hate comment stuff, but people will be, you know, acting like, oh, I can't believe this guy's like this. I'm like, if you think I'm like this <laughs> all of the time. Just walk around your apartment on fire. Like <laughs> right, right. Then, yeah, maybe yeah. I am a bit strange. But, um, yeah. but, yeah, that was more just, like, lower key. Um, just talking about music, yeah. I like. Um, it's interesting, like, that format because – a lot of my format is very short form, like mm -hmm. 15 seconds, just quick punchline, like, you know, draw people in, get the punchline in, just loud music. Yeah. And that will kind of be it. Whereas this is a lot longer format. So I'm, I'm not struggling necessarily, but it's like, how do I create an engaging video for that long? Like, right. I, I feel like I've got a knack to create an engaging <laughs> video for 15, 20 seconds but how do I keep someone's engagement for 60 seconds? Mm -hmm. So that's something that, again, I'm not necessarily struggling with, but I'm working on. It's a different it's animal for sure. Yeah. Like, yeah, the more you, you, cause again, you have to storyboard more ideas and write on more yeah. stuff. I found that similarly with, uh, you know, I, I make this kind of content on TikTok and Instagram every single yeah. day. But then when I started doing stuff on YouTube and Twitch, mm -hmm. more long form content, it's like, I'm doing the same thing, but just like over, you know, a thousand times more, uh, like time wise, you know, cause I'm doing yeah. it for like an hour sometimes it's like to keep that energy and keep that, you know, that talking, especially by yourself, like creating in a vacuum, like with no one to speak with, you know, that's why I love doing these podcasts and because I, I can actually, yeah. you know, converse with another human being and actually, yeah. you know, get some yeah. feedback and stuff. But yeah, doing that uh, on your own and like, like you said, like you you kind of like run out of steam a little bit and try to like, it's, cause it's, just, it's, you have to shift focus. It's, it's just a different, you know, yeah. different mindset. And, yeah. you know, you said you started kind of like getting like not not burned out on the uh, the skits, but you kind of just wanted to change. Have you experienced like burnout in general with uh, creating content? Have you gotten those days where it's like, fuck, I just don't want to do this today? Absolutely. Do you try to power through um, and just make a video anyway or you take a break? Um. So I used to be super just religiously post every day. Yeah. 
regardless of of what it was like get something out because that's what the people want right yeah, right that's what the algorithm uh, the, wants <laughs> yeah that's what the algorithm wants like if you don't post like oh my god what's gonna happen are these yeah. people gonna stop following me or not care whatever um i then so stepping stone so the next stepping stone was when i i had a rule of thumb like if i hit a hundred thousand views on tiktok because I was oh, at this point, I was only posting on TikTok. If I hit mm -hmm. 100,000 views on TikTok, I'm not going to post the next day. Like, I'm going to take the day off. If right. that video do well, cool. Like give let myself a little bit of a break. Um, let it go and just let it do a thing. And then I then if I've already made videos, then great. Then I have an extra day on the back end or whatever yeah. it might be. Um, but now it's I just post <laughs> whenever, <laughs> which which I would say is like four to five days a week still. Mm -hmm. But if I'm tired, like I'm not going to make a video. Yeah. Um, which I think is a lot healthier. I'm also just busy like with work. So some days I'm just, I get home and I'm just, I just don't have the energy. Like I might have an idea, but I don't have the energy. Oh, Sometimes 100%. I just don't have an idea. Yeah. I'm just like, I, I can't even like think. And, but again, I'll be pacing around my room and I'll waste like two hours of my day. Cause I'm like, I just don't have anything. And that's yeah. fine. You know, well, um, but it does, it does burn out. Yeah. That's gotta be difficult too. Cause like for my end, like doing a lot of music news stuff mm. and music stories, like my content derives from what's happening around me, like in the world music wise. Mm. So it's like, I can pull from that stuff. And there are definitely slow days where nothing's happening. And I do struggle to come up with ideas. I'm like, I'm like what's the fucking a fun, what's a fun thing to talk about today? And like, sometimes I'll just like, you know, think of an old music story and just kind of rehash yeah. that and like, but tell it in a different way or tell a story people may have not heard before. Mm -hmm. But again, I kind of always had those like, you know, those uh, those wells to pull from. It's got to be difficult on your end where like, like you said, you've got to create like this, the skit out of nowhere. And like, if you don't have an idea that day and it's like 7 p.m., it's like, well, fuck, I still want to come up with an idea. What Am I going to stay up until midnight trying to figure this out or just wait till tomorrow? Yep. It's tough. It's yeah. tough. Um, I, I try and like have like core ideas. Yeah. So I used to post a lot of videos. And I think. I think I maybe ran the well dry a little bit mm -hmm. on uh, like what you think you sound like versus what you actually sound like. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, those, yeah. Where like you've got your headphones on then someone's yeah. singing and those always do well. They yeah. always do well because they're super relatable. Mm -hmm. I just, I just use like really popular songs, which I enjoy anyway, but like when bad omens is popping off, you do it with bad omens. When, right. when spirit box put out a new album, you go with spirit box, you yeah. know, whatever. Um, and so, you know, I did a lot of that. And I think that's what really propelled me, honestly. Like mm -hmm. those videos really took off. Um, so that was like a core idea. So I'd film like one of those a week. Right. Right. So it was like, okay, so that's one of my videos a week is going to be one of those. Like I already know the format. Right, so you I know knew, how to edit no matter it. what, you had that video in the tank. Yeah. Yeah. And similar idea with like the into the scene, the more like mm -hmm. podcasty videos where I know I have that on Sundays. Like mm -hmm. I know on Saturdays I'd film that video and, you know, do my research on Friday, whatever, listen to music and then get that out on Sunday. Yeah. So that helps me out too. But there are definitely days where it's like, okay, like I need to think of something because, you know, I've, it's been a day or two. Yeah. Um, and I'm just sitting here just like muttering to myself, like, okay, like what about, if someone's in the car listening to music or what if someone, yeah. you know, the, the idea of someone looking at you and they don't know what you're listening to, but really you're listening to this. And I'm like, but I've done that a million times where I feel like I've played on that same joke. So it, it can get like burnout for sure. Yeah. Where, you know, I, I make a video. Sometimes I've made videos I've not posted because I watch it and I go, but I, I've done this. Like, like this, <laughs> this video right. I've done like five times. I, I, I don't want to just rinse and repeat. Right. Um, because that just gets stale you know it does get um, stale but it's also interesting too with tiktok especially because like we know we both know that once somebody follows you they almost like stop seeing your videos and they almost never get yeah. to see your shit anymore so it's like mm -hmm. you get a brand new audience almost every single time you post it seems like so it does i think that's why the rinse and repeat stuff does work so well because you're hitting new people every time with the same concept yeah. but then yeah to you know internally it's not satisfying <laughs> you know you don't want to put out yeah. the same shit yeah and, and I think for me, you know, be, I'm very lucky to have quite the, for the the good following on both Instagram and TikTok. Yeah. And they're completely different. Like, oh, yeah. like TikTok is, um, you know, like you say, like you could post a video and you get a, you know, what just a complete different audience. Right. But Instagram, you get the same audience. Mm -hmm. So I'm not, I'm not like making content for two different platforms. It's the same platform. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I'll have videos, you know, that do really well on Instagram and flop on TikTok and vice versa. Um, and, and so because the algorithms, algorithms, sorry, are different, you know, with that rinse and repeat, it's like, if I do that idea on Instagram, my yeah. comments just get flooded, like 
like, oh my God, this guy just posts the same video every day. Right, right. Versus right. on TikTok, I get, cause I get a different audience. Yeah. That doesn't happen. So it's kind of like a catch 22 where it's like, do I want to focus on TikTok or do I want to focus on Instagram? Yeah. Because they're completely different animals. Yeah, it is getting to that point where you kind of have to almost, cause I do the same thing. I, I make one video and I, it goes up yeah. on, you know, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube shorts and push it on three but it, it does kind of get to the point where you kind of have to think like well does this video make sense for this platform especially yeah. as your audience grows like, i mean you're like well see tiktok is weird because tiktok i feel like still has that the most virality potential like i can post a video on tiktok and it will it might get a million views or it might get you know ten thousand views whereas instagram it's like i'm always kind of consistently in the same like like realm of views you know like ten thousand, fifty thousand. i mean sometimes i, I get like a million pop on yeah. instagram but i feel like instagram is more consistent and that's probably because yeah. you're you know the, the viewers are more consistent yeah um but uh yeah it does kind of get to the point where you kind of think like oh, does this make sense for this platform yeah absolutely i i, I would say like i i like posting on instagram better mm -hmm. um because it, I know I you you know what you're gonna get to yeah. a degree. Like right. people follow you because they like your stuff. So and then they, and then the people that follow you because they like your stuff see your stuff. Right. Which is which is cool. And then you build a cool community where on TikTok it's a bit more like yeah you have a higher chance for for virality, but that doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna get like a following from it. Like I, I think yeah. I think on TikTok, and then this is easier said than done. I, I think, but. I think it's easier to get a viral video on TikTok, like you're saying, than it is on Instagram. Mm -hmm. But you build a better community of people on Instagram. So it's kind of a... Yeah. A yeah, I feel like it. the followers don't convert on TikTok the way they do on Instagram. No. And like, like I, I racked up, you know, half a million followers on TikTok almost a year ago, and I'm still sitting around the same number. It's like, I don't know yeah. if like maybe I just found all the pop punk and metalcore kids out there. Yeah. Like that's just all yeah. of them, all the Warped Tour kids yeah. follow me already. But yeah, it's like Instagram still keeps like steadily building. Obviously, your Instagram kind of ballooned up over the last year as well. And I think your content kind of caters more to the Instagram crowd as well because you're like a like a live action meme, really. You know, and meme content is like super fucking trendy on that end. So yeah, yeah. I mean, do you remember like what video was the one that was like really popped off first on Instagram that like kind of like started the the uh, I guess the, tr the racetrack or whatever you want to call it? <laughs> um. I think it, it was probably a lot of the, like how I think I sound yeah. versus how I actually sound videos. Um, I had people sending me those all the time. I'm like, yeah, I know this dude. Yeah, I've seen this video. <laughs> You're like, oh yeah, I know this guy. Yeah, yeah. Great, great for him. Uh, <laughs> great for him. Yeah, okay. Um, no, no, no. Go fuck yourself. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. No, I, th I think it was those, those videos. Yeah. Because they were just so relatable mm -hmm. to people. Exactly. And then people would just put them on their story and then it just goes. Um, yeah. I, I think a lot of my content is derived from relatability. And so that caters way better to Instagram because more people are going to share on Instagram. Like they're on mm -hmm. Instagram and they put it on their story. If they watch it on TikTok, they have to go out of the platform. Like you have yeah. to click share, mm -hmm. go out of the platform, go to another platform, then hit share. But then like, sometimes the audios aren't synced up, which I yeah. hate. So it's like on Instagram, it's just a one click of a button. It's good. They go. Yeah. So because of that, I think that's why Instagram is a bit better for me. Yeah, that story um, feature is huge. I mean, because yeah. TikToks try to in implement the story thing, but it's like, I just don't, people don't want to convert over, you know? Mm -hmm. And like, people people don't want to start, people don't want to post on two things, that, uh, uh, more things they have to post on, I guess. And then also yeah. it's like, when you post on your TikTok story, it still goes on your TikTok feed, and then people don't want yeah. that on their feed. So it's like, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's tough. I mean, I think they're probably always trying to figure out new ways to steal Instagram's yeah. audience and, Facebook's audience, if there's anything left over there and whatnot. Yeah, Meta's audience. Meta, on, Meta. yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I think I think Instagram is, is just better suited for for my style of content. I th I think with the the story. I mean, I need to be better at stories anyway. Like I mm. never post stories. I just feel like my life's not interesting outside of what I post. Um, you might feel that way, fun. but it's it's weird because yeah. like you know, two hundred thousand people will ever follow you. Like they want to know what you had for breakfast. You know, they <laughs> a lot of them want to. Oh, they don't dogs. because because it would be the same story every day. <laughs> Bowl of oatmeal with peanut butter, and you're gonna get that same picture it's every a day. Balanced meal, they man. Want... <laughs> hey, you know what? It gets me going for the yeah, day. Yeah, you know? I like it. it. Gets me going. Um, have you guys, have you delved into YouTube at all doing YouTube shorts? I know you did like some YouTube videos there for a few months. Yeah. I, I started doing reactions. I, I, I don't know if you know, Orion, Orion yeah. reacts. Yeah. Um, 
he is hounding me to do YouTube shorts. He's like, bro, you have to do YouTube shorts. I'm, I'm going to join in on that hound train, man. You got to. Okay. Okay. <laughs> if there's two of you, then I guess I got to do it. Um, well, because it's just so easy. You've already made the video. You just got to re-upload it, and free let money. Me, let me ask you, <laughs> is, is it, what, what's the copyright like? Because the only mm. reason why I've been hesitant is because um, I when I did YouTube videos, I would spend hours yeah. editing a video. And for it to upload and for it to take like, you know, 30 minutes to upload. And I'm like waiting for it to go. It's 930 at night. And then I get to the editing, the thumbnail bit. And then boom, you can't post this. Yeah. The audio is taken down. And I just wasted all my time. That... And so I got really frustrated with that. And that's why I just haven't gone back to the YouTube space. So in my experience, knock on wood, um, with YouTube shorts, the only thing that will happen is you might not be able to monetize it, but they'll still sure. post. You'll still be able to oh, hear okay. and everything like that. So I, I, when I use music in my videos and my shorts, I, I use such a small amount, like usually five seconds or yeah. less so that usually kind of clears me for, for it. But every now and then some of the bigger bands, like I'll, I'll get, you know, hit with the copyright on it. It's not, it doesn't like hurt your account or anything like that. It just like, basically like the Paramore says, okay, we're going to take any money you make off this short. Yeah. Instead of you make it, you use four seconds of our song. So in this 30 yeah. second video, so we're going to take all the money you would have made for, nice. for the revenue. Which sucks, but still, at least I'm getting the views. I'm still getting the content yeah. coming in. But yeah, no, so, I mean, obviously, you know, uh, without the Instagram bonus structure anymore, oh. we all got hit with that. We're not making money there, so we got to find other avenues. And I feel like YouTube Shorts, because they do have a, a, the same thing that Instagram had, like the bonus marketplace, yeah. whatever you want to call it. Like, So yeah, that's a that's a good route to make some extra cash, because I, uh, I know we're all hurting after Instagram. <laughs> Yeah, dude, don't tell me about it. Um, but no, I, I, the, the thing is, is Orion, like he was telling me, he's like, bro, like you have like 400 videos on your Instagram, mm -hmm. just ready to go. He, he, he's like, you could post oh, yeah. for a whole year mm -hmm. and not have to create anything new for YouTube shorts. And you would probably just, you know, see that's, growth. That's the beautiful thing about your content is it's so evergreen. Like, whereas yeah. my content is very topical based and like basically, like I said, what's going on in the news and everything like that. Yeah. Like we, you can literally like exactly what he's saying. You could post all four hundred videos, and they're all probably do well because they're not like tied to any time frame. They'll do well now. They'll do your, well two years from now because again, it's just relatable metal music yeah. content, you know. Yeah. So yeah, I I join in on that hound train. I'm gonna hound you okay. too. I'm gonna make sure you. Do all right, that. all right, all right. I I just I need to do it. I just need yeah. to. Do it. I I don't know how to do it, but I'm assuming I just download the video, hit upload, and yeah, that's about it. Yeah, so just like you, uh, because you download you. Uh, you you edit everything on your computer, right? Yeah. And then, do you upload to TikTok through your phone still, or do you upload? Yeah, through? yeah. So so every time I upload, I I have two versions of the video. So mm -hmm. I have one with captions for Instagram, and then one without captions. Then I do the editing of the captions in TikTok. Gotcha. Of the other one. So which is probably so stupid that I do that, but I I feel like uh, from my own experience, from no other outside influence that videos do better when i put tiktok captions on not like my own yeah. edited in captions so Maybe it's just cause what a workaround i might suggest that i do uh because i do the captions on the video <laughs> this is like some real <laughs> backdoor shit for people listening they're probably like, i don't give a fuck about you guys <laughs> like, what, what, what are they talking about who cares but uh but when i when i edit the videos i put captions on him and then but when i post it on tiktok i will write out um keyword like uh like say I'll write this this video. I would say like Paramore puts out this song called this. Uh, it's an emo pop punk jam. But it's just like a, a quick paragraph, maybe, not even maybe a couple of sentences, yeah. and then I I shrink it down and I make a black text and I just hide it somewhere in the video for like two yeah. seconds so that the video still gets picked up on the keyword search and uh, gets picked up on the algorithm, but it's not actually on the screen. You know, I just use my normal Smart. text. Yeah, because that's all it's, that's all it's really doing is just indexing those keywords. It doesn't need every yeah. single word in the caption really it just needs like those those keywords in order to categorize you that might be a good work of for you if it's that's smart if what you're doing right now is working then i mean you don't have to well well what what, what i'm doing is working but it's just extra effort yeah like if, if i can just just have the one video with the captions or whatever it is and then just input one quick thing that makes my life way easier yeah yeah like yeah. you would, it would just literally be like a couple sentences describing the video using all this keywords and stuff yeah. like because there's a lot of times too where like I don't want to put like 30 hashtags on a video, but there's a lot of things yeah. that I want to make sure are, if the video gets categorized with like every, yeah. especially if I'm doing like a top 10 band countdown, I want to make sure every band is like, you know, hitting the algorithm or if the keywords hitting the mm -hmm. algorithm. So that's a good way to do it. It's just like type them all out, shrink them down, make them black and hide them in the corner. So 
Nice. Yeah. I, I might do that. I right, give it. it a shot. In fact, I probably will. I will. <laughs> give it see what happens. Or or your account will tank and you'll blame me. Like, is there a fucking yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, it's like, remember this day. <laughs> this is the day where, where everything collapsed. <laughs> Go back to this podcast episode. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Remember Matt Bevan? Yeah, he used to be a good creator. Then I don't know what happened. It is episode with Jesse Lee. <laughs> Everything went downhill from there. So I don't know what they talked yeah, about. Yeah, but... I haven't seen him in years. Mm. Uh, speaking of, do you have any uh, plans in the future for your content as far as like what you want to do going forward with this whole, like, I mean, I know this isn't your day job, but if you were to make this like your main thing, do you have plans to like, kind of push it for- the ball forward even more? Yeah. <sighs> It's, it's so hard because I, I, well, yes, but it's so dependent on like time, yeah which I just seemingly don't have. Right. Um, but I, I, cause I'm, I'm getting married in August. Oh, so, so it's like, thank you. Um, so we're dealing with a lot of that, yeah. which is great. That's, oh, that's so it. much fun. <laughs> but, but you know, it's like, there's a lot going on there and I have my full-time job, which is yeah. salary 40 hours a week, but sometimes it's more than that. I'm mm-hmm. driving a lot and it's like, you know, it, for, for me, I've had this conversation with the fiance and some friends where it's like, if I, if I want to take my content to like the next level, yeah, right. Where it's like, you know, investing it, to me, it's more time because I already put a lot of time in, in the editing. Right. So, and, and I think of these ideas and whatever, it's like, I can't keep, get better content using the same amount of time. I, I don't think maybe there, maybe I'm missing something, but I, I've like thought of it. I'm like, I don't think I can like do more with the time I have. So I need more time. Yeah. Which then it starts eating into either my full time or things I just enjoy doing. Like I yeah. enjoy playing some video games every now and again. I like taking my dog for a walk. I like going to the gym every day. Like to find that time, I'm going to have to take something out of my life. Yeah. And I like my life. So, so right, I don't know right. if I want to do that. Right. Um, I mean, I would love to go like into like a, like a Twitch or mm-hmm. a YouTube space where it's more like long form formatting. Um, because the whole reason I, I started doing TikTok was because I started doing YouTube. I started making YouTube videos and I had a whole YouTube series on how easy is it to get famous on TikTok. And then I ditched the YouTube. So I was like, screw this. Like TikTok <laughs> is it. So the whole reason I did TikTok was because I was doing a YouTube series about TikTok. Oh, wow. I did not know that. Yeah. And which it's all private now. Yeah, all yeah. Private. But, um, you know, so what I mean? So, so that was all born out of doing YouTube. Yeah. Um, so I'd love to do that, but I just don't have the time. I don't, I, and, I and so you. it's, it's a bit of like, a, you know, I'm at a point where it's like, I'm going to have to sacrifice to go like, and maybe the short, maybe the short term sacrifice to go, mm-hmm. but you know, I love my full-time job. Love the people I know through it. And so it's like, it would be hard to give that up with the financial implications of that, especially with the wedding coming up and things like that. It's like, I oh, could never 100%. do it. Yeah, um, no, I love I love yeah. doing stuff for YouTube, but like, yeah, it is so time consuming. Like, I've tried making videos before, and like, again, a whole nother different mindset and a whole different kind of like layout and kind of content yeah. creation. It's just it's so much effort and time to make these videos that, and then at the end of the day, when they get like 500 views because YouTube's algorithm kind of sucks, you know, it's like, ah, well, that was that was kind of not worth it. <laughs> you know? yeah. I could trim that down to 30 seconds and probably gone viral on TikTok with that content, right? Right, and that and that's what I was feeling with the with the, the reactions. Yeah, uh, I did like a like a couple months of mm-hmm. doing reactions, but after those couple months, I was like, why am I investing all this time in this uh, when a it doesn't do very well? Which which yeah. shouldn't be a barometer because if you like doing it, you should do it. Right, right. But but the the frustrating part was the copyright stuff. So I was yeah. like, I'm just investing all this time and then just getting the videos not even up. The videos not even getting out there yeah. at that point. So it's like, why am I going to do this? I'm just going to stick to what I know works. Um, but I'd love to do like longer formatted yeah. videos. I would love to do more stuff like in real life, mm-hmm. like going to more festivals, like maybe like interviewing people at festivals, like like not like not necessarily bands. Mm-hmm. I would love to do that, but more like just in in like on the streets. Yeah, you yeah. You know, like street, go around like in, in the festival with one of those mini mics and just yeah. like interviewing bystanders and just right. trying to get like funny clips or like funny moments. Cause I feel like that would be, that'd be like interesting. Yeah. Um, I think you would definitely again, excel at that. <laughs> I, I think that will be fun, but I don't have the time to go to these places. Mm-hmm. Jesse. I don't have the time. Yeah. Like, you know, like I, I, because I work 40 hours a week and I've got two weeks paid vacation well, over my year. It's like, but most of that's going to the wedding and right. honeymoon. So there you go. That's it. <laughs> that's it done. No one comes to Southern California. I'm out in SoCal. There's no festivals out in Southern California. There's mm. like, 
the the aftershock which i'm hoping to go to in sacramento but that's still like a seven hour drive oh man for four days which i don't i don't have four days if yeah. i'm gonna go it's gonna be for like the first two um so it's just tough you know so my, my my problem is time i would love i would love to do like longer form formatting i'd love to go and do more stuff in real life and like interviewing just random people on the on the side of the street um but i gotta find the time and that's the bad. I'm not. I'm not making excuses because if I want no. to do it, I'll do it. Dude, you're. But, um, you're. We're up. Yeah, yeah, you're a busy dude. That's no. There's no doubt about that. I mean, that, yeah. I think like people don't really appreciate how much time content creation really is. Yeah. You know, and how involved it is, especially with videos of your caliber. I mean, it's not. You might. It might be a 30 second video, but it takes hours and hours on top of it yeah. to actually produce that. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, like you, you said, you uh, you like your day job that you're working now too. So it's yeah. like you don't really want to go all in when you actually do right. enjoy it, which is very rare that you enjoy what you're doing during the day because a lot mm -hmm. of people don't um you work at a gym right yeah yeah i work in fitness so i so i'm i manage two like boutique fitness studios out here in southern california nice. um and like yeah it, it just gives me that like uh what's the right word um i get a lot of interaction with people yeah. in, in those facilities and um it's not like a box gym where it's just like you scan your card and you go in. It's just very personalized. You know the clients that are coming in. Yeah. You're friendly with your coworkers, and it's like I get a lot of enjoyment out of that. And so if I take that away, then I'm losing a lot of yeah. that like socialization too. Have um, you ever thought about making content around like the gym life kind of content? Um, or is that something you want to keep separate from? It wouldn't be with my full-time job yeah. just because I want to keep that separate. But I I've thought about doing the gym stuff, but... Like I'm not like a buff dude, so so it's like I feel like a lot Come of like on. like no 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 I, I feel like a lot of gym talk <laughs> yeah. if, if you will yeah is like aesthetic based like it's yeah, all yeah. aesthetic like you gotta have you gotta be shredded like five percent body right. fat like which is just not me yeah um, also like I don't necessarily have a problem with it but like filming during workouts yeah yeah to me it's not the filming in the gym like I get that because I'll film on the street and it's, that's kind of the same thing like in the public, but um, it just like takes away from the workout. Like if you're having to set up cameras and stuff, the only yeah. way like I, I see it working is if you have like a videographer with you. Right. And it's like filming everything you do, right. which kind again, following like, you around. Yeah. Um, but I, I don't see myself going to the, like, I'm not like a personal trainer, so yeah. I don't, I don't have like any certification. So it's not like I could necessarily talk and provide like qualified and some people aren't certified and do it, but and then do I don't it know anyway. because I work in fitness because I <laughs> yeah. work in fitness. I, I think I would probably get in trouble if I offered advice. Good. Yeah. And I also work in, in a gym. Yeah. And if people take my advice, and apply it in the yeah. gym I'm at, and then it happens. <laughs> yeah. Now it's probably a huge liability yeah. thing. So, so I I feel like if I'm gonna start doing anything like that, I've got to be like ultra careful, just because I, of that's where I work. I feel like you're kind of probably correct me if I'm wrong, but you're probably in the same kind of boat that I'm in. Like I work out like six days a week, and mm -hmm. pe people all the time tell me like, "Oh, you're so skinny. Why do you work out?" It's like <laughs> I. I how do you think I look this? I, I don't, I don't like, cause, cause I'm, again, yeah. I'm not buff either. Like I don't have huge muscles, you know, I'm a six yeah. pack, but I'm, I'm lean. I've seen your stories, bro. <laughs> your arms, your arms look great, bro. Thank That's you. all I'm Thank saying. Thank you, man. Yeah. But yeah, it, it is, it is, does get frustrating when like you work so hard and then people are just like, oh, you just have good metabolism. I'm like, well, not, not just that. I also eat healthy yeah. and I work. I mean, right, right. I will say, yeah, I do have good metabolism. I'll, I'll give that part credit, but yeah. come on, give me some credit too. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. I mean, my metabolism is, is so high yeah i've done like um scans and it's like i, I burn like 2400 calories a day if i was just to sit down all day oh geez so that's my like so 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 Your i burn that so if i just lay down all day i yeah. burn 2400 calories god damn so so, so that so if, if i start if i have to import you know like a workout so that's 500 yeah. calories right um, and then I walk my dog twice a day. We walk mm -hmm. about a mile each time. So there's two miles of walking. I you put in another hundreds of calories. I have to eat like, or, or drink or just ingest like, yeah. you know, 3,500 calories to gain weight, Damn. which that's an insane amount of yeah, food a lot. to eat. Um, so yeah, it's a struggle, which, your... which again, I'm blessed on that side of things. I'd rather be on that side oh, than the other sure. side where, but 
When yeah. you spend all that money on supplements and, and food and you don't see progress, you're like, oh, this is tough. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want anyone to take this out of context and be like, oh, boo hoo, you guys are too skinny. Cause I know, I know the opposite side of the spectrum yeah. is yeah. very difficult as well. I know that's a, that's a whole nother animal that I'm yeah. fortunate that I don't have to deal with. Yeah. But, um, yeah, again, yeah, just trying to, just trying to, cause I mean, I take eating healthy super seriously and, yeah. you know, working out religiously. What's, uh, what are you doing diet wise to like reach those goals for, or besides supplements? Very little. Yeah. If I, if the diet, the diet is my, uh, my crux, if you will. Um, now I, I, I eating the amount of calories is tough, but I, yeah. I kind of know how to do it. It's, it's, it's eating the right foods is, is hard. Um, it, it's hard when you have to eat out a lot. Yeah. Like when I'm at work, because we don't have like a microwave at the gym, because we have such a small office. If we had a microwave, it would just stink up the whole place. <laughs> it's like whatever you're making. So I either have to bring in cold food yeah. or um, eat out. I was doing really good at the beginning of the year with a meal prep. Okay. I, I was doing good with meal prep, but it's, I've just totally fallen off. Yeah. Totally fallen off. I feel like I do well with breakfast and like snacks and dinner. Mm -hmm. Lunch is where it just goes out the window. Like yeah. I, because I'm either eating out or I have to just bring in something quick and easy. And that's just not the best thing for me. Um, but yeah, so, so, so diet diets, I'm not, I definitely don't eat poorly, mm -hmm. but I'm probably not hitting certain in the macros you want so. macros. Yeah. yeah. When people start talking about their macros, I'm probably <laughs> not hitting their, I'm probably not hitting my macros. Right. I, hit, I think I hit my macros on like protein, right? but I don't, I think I'm getting, having too much like carbs and sodium and things like yeah, that. Yeah, we probably all are though. I think that's like mm -hmm. the easiest one to get too much of. Yeah. What's your uh, gym routine like? Um, I would say I probably do like four days of lifting a week and then I do um, probably two days of more like cardio based mm -hmm. workouts. Could, could be just a straight run. Yeah. Or it could be um, like with the gym I'm at, it's, it's high intensity interval training. So it could be that too. I'm okay. um, gonna try to do that like once or twice a week, which I enjoy doing it. Same, um, yeah. so, so it's a mixture of both, um, which people always tell me like, Matt, if you want to bulk, then you got to take the cardio. I'm like, yeah, but I feel good doing the cardio. And like, I don't just want to get like yeah fat bulk. Right. You know what I mean? Well, and there's but, something um, to be said for, you know, what that, what positive effects it has on your heart mm -hmm. and the rest of your body doing that kind of high intensity training, you know? Like, like you said, Absolutely. walking twice a day. You could probably gain more weight if you didn't walk twice a day, but then you're not walking twice a day. Like, and who wants yeah. to, I mean, you enjoy walking and also it's really, really good for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. <laughs> so, I know. So, so it's definitely, um, like it, 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 I used to be more aesthetic based yeah. and now I just want to feel good. Right. Like I used to be very aesthetic based and I was skinny and like, you know, the, people talk about like body dysmorphia and the, I, I wouldn't say I had like body dysmorphia, but I was definitely like, oh, like I'm just I'm just this skinny guy I can't gain weight can't yeah. gain muscle and now I feel good with doing my routine yeah so I'm gonna keep doing that like I'm not just gonna you know do something for the sake of look for for looks if you right. will and just sacrifice feeling good like I'd rather feel good you know so <laughs> wrapping back into feeling good and feeling yeah. shitty uh <laughs> do mm -hmm. yeah I'm, I'm, you get a lot of haters in your comment sections any Ooh. trolls and stuff um very fortunate not really yeah. the, the the worst i get is cringe like i'm just cringe um i get i get that probably yeah. the most um i had this one guy that that like was obsessed with me on instagram the dog is just stretched right there in the back the, um the uh this guy was just super obsessed with hating on me on yeah. instagram he um he kept like commenting like to come out to texas and fight him <laughs> like he would make he would make like posts about me yeah. being like like this guy's whatever and like i want to fight this guy i'm like what who, who? I'm like who are you <laughs> who is this guy but that, that's like the worst though I, i'm very fortunate to not have like like hate like yeah. someone calling me cringe is like okay whatever right. like that's but no one really attacks like um me personally that's which good. i'm very lucky to have because i know there are you know creators out there that just get just annihilated. Oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, um, if getting called cringe is like the worst thing, like, I mean, if, 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 that, if that was something that would ruin your day, then you probably shouldn't be on the internet to begin with because like, I couldn't imagine that, like, <laughs> yeah. fucking my day, like cringe, like, fuck you, you're cringe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, I, I think, I always say, I think people that use the word cringe yeah. 
are the cringe people. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like people that like like legit use the word cringe right. in mm-hmm. their daily vernacular the are the people that are cringe. <laughs> yeah. That's cringe. Not not doing not just being silly online. Right. Yeah. When they start getting like their personal attacks and shit, it's like, oh Jesus, dude, yeah. calm down. Like we're yeah. we're talking about Fall Out Boy here. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> yeah, right. I I think for me, it, like I had to separate out. Like at first I, I thought I was getting a lot of hate. Yeah. Then I realized that people were just hating on the music. Right. They're not necessarily hating on me. Yeah. They're they're, they're saying, oh, this band sucks. I used to take that personally. Mm-hmm. I was like, I, I think something just flipped my brain where I was like, hold on a second. Like they're just they just don't like my opinion yeah which that's fine you cannot like my opinion um it's when it's like people get like personal start trying to fight me i'm like okay yeah i don't know know what's going on here um but no i I don't really get that much which i'm very very lucky to not have that but yeah yeah i posted this video yesterday it was um about taylor swift has um hayley williams and fallout boy on her new record Mm -hmm. and the hook was the start of the video was um taylor swift's upcoming album has two of the biggest names and pop punk and emo on it yeah. and there's a whole mini thread going on inside of the comment section of people arguing yeah. arguing that a Haley williams and fallout boy or paramore and fallout boy are not the biggest pop punk and emo bands yeah. which i didn't say they were the biggest i said of the yeah. biggest you know two of the biggest um but semantics yeah. it doesn't fucking matter it's people yeah. really upset about that and then a whole nother mini thread within that are people arguing whether or not Fall Out Boy was pop punk or not. Oh. <laughs> and it's just, my phone just blowing up yeah. all day long. Comment, I mean, it's good for the engagement for sure, but yeah. it's like hundreds of comments. It's like, you guys are really that wound yeah. up about this. Like, really, like, that's like yeah. the day. Yeah, I, 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 I call some people like the genre police. Yeah, oh yeah. Um, where it's just like, you know, I'll, I'll call a band metal. Like, like, I think the funniest one I get is when I call Slipknot Heavy. <laughs> and then people go people. they're like that's not heavy like yeah. this i'm like i'm like okay i'm yeah. like i i, th- I think what people don't understand sometimes is like we, we already kind of touched on this earlier you use keywords yeah so you know like if if i use a keyword saying a band's heavy that's yeah. to get it on the right track right, right. your opinion is, is irrelevant necessarily <laughs> off to what you think right um and it's, well, it's always funny because i then i started like like looking up the bands like I already, I already knew what genre they were, but I'm like, let's just see what they call themselves. Yeah. Because if I just call them what they call themselves, then surely I'm good. Yeah. No, no, I'm not. No, I'm, no. Call, I'm calling them what they call themselves. And they're like, they're not that. I'm like, I just want to just give them the, the link to their website. Right. Like, Here you go. Right. Like, I don't know what you want me to say. Like, they consider themselves this. Right. So, you know. That's the worst part, that. too, is like, yeah, you can't describe music as heavy because, like, it's, just, it's never going to be heavy enough for everyone. Everyone's no. going to be like, that's not fucking like, dude. There's people that think Lorna Shore isn't heavy. You know? oh, <laughs> it's man. like, come on, man. <laughs> yeah. I know. What, what, like one of my hot takes is like, metal doesn't have to be angry to be heavy. Right. Like people will just, you know, just make up whatever their definition of, of heavy is and just run with it. Yeah. Um. But yeah, the 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 heavy police, the genre police. <laughs> there, they they get. I it's a, one video I did kind of screw up though. I will I will admit. I, I did a bad omens video. I call I called it metalcore. I think Bad Omens is a band. I consider it metalcore. I don't know. I, I, th- I think for for uh, some of their songs, they're metalcore. Yeah. I, I put Just Pretend as okay. metalcore. Yeah. And looking back, I probably I probably made a mistake on that <laughs> one. I think that's more of like a like a, a rock song. Yeah. But hey, you know what? The video the, popped off, so, yeah, so dude, whatever. And, and the lines between metalcore and rock are just so fucking blurred these days. Yeah. Like, metalcore now doesn't mean the same thing it meant back in, like, two, even the 2010s. Yeah. But but that's yeah. where people start arguing. Like, well, that's not real metalcore. It's like, well, it's yeah. today metalcore, you know? <laughs> like, yeah, uh, and then, like, and these days, too, with, like, deathcore yeah. with clean vocals in now. Yeah. So right. now people are saying, you know, like, oh, like, that's not deathcore. It's got clean vocals. And you're like, hold on a second. Like, right. you know, the, these genres can evolve. Right. It's not like they're stuck. As soon as it's, you know, made to be one thing, now it's that forever. It's like, this is going to evolve. Bands yeah. are going to change their sound and things like that. So, yeah, because yeah, I'm not a huge fan of songs where it's just straight screaming the whole time. I yeah. like to have clean vocals in there somewhere. Mm-hmm. And I, I can't remember what band it was, but they were, they were, I thought they were a deathcore band. I'm like, oh, this is a deathcore band I actually like. And someone's like, that's not really yeah. deathcore. It's like, okay, never mind. I guess I don't like any deathcore. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're like, no, what? Never mind. Never mind. 
No, a lot, a lot of deathcore bands like Brand of Sacrifice, the most recent EV, which is one of my favorite bands mm. ever. It's so good. They, um, Kyle, the vocalist, is starting to do cleans in it, which I yeah. think is great. And like, I'll talk about it, but people will be like, "That's not deathcore." I'm like, oh, "But, I'm like, guys, like, yeah, come yeah. on, like, you know." Oh, it's, it's um, have you listened to the new Avenged Sevenfold album yet? I have. Oh, <laughs> um, I have. Oh, no, no, no. I, I said that like I was going to say something. I said that like I was going to give some juicy gossip. I'm like, he came locked like, and loaded. All right. <laughs> no, no. Um, I, 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 it's all over the place. Sure is. And so I think that's the, 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 the sticking point for some people where, you know, can they, can, can they, I, I don't want to say if it's a choice or not. Yeah, because then people's brains work differently. But, but if, if someone can appreciate the variety, yeah, in it, because if you go in thinking it's going to all sound the same, right, and it doesn't, then they're going to be like, "This isn't what I thought it was going to be." I don't like this. I, I personally like variety. Same. I'm a big fan of if good music is good music, so it can be whatever sound. But mm -hmm. if it's good, then it's good. Um, so I liked it. I wouldn't say it's like my my favorite album of the year, but I liked it. Yeah. Um, the song, the song, I think it's, is it pronounced Mattel, Mattel? The second I, one? So I think it's, so Mattel is how you pronounce like the toy company. So yeah. I'm assuming it's named after that, Mattel? Yeah, that was my favorite one. And I think yeah. that, that one's more of one of the heavier ones yeah. on there, for sure. Um, but I, I like the album. I, w I wouldn't say it's my favorite album of the year, but I also, it's getting hate. So oh, I, w yeah. I wouldn't, I, I'm not giving it hate. Like, I think it's good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I mean, I feel like if I didn't know it was an Avenged Sevenfold album, I would listen to it differently. And I try mm. not to be one of those like curmudgeon old fucks. Like the older I get, the more I try to like not be stuck in my way. I try to like really be optimistic and open ears when I listen to, especially, especially when I listen to bands that I, I used to love and they put yeah. out new stuff. Cause like you obviously had that sense of nostalgia and you hold on to music in a different way. Yeah. So I try to listen to it with open ears and uh and again like you're saying it's not bad I, it's just i don't know man it doesn't really scratch me where i itch like it doesn't really yeah. have a lot of the elements that i like about Avenged sevenfold and yeah. if i take that out of it and i think it's just just here's a record from a new band maybe i would like it more but at the same yeah. time there's just not any hooks that i'm catching in the, yeah. in the song and that's my biggest hang-up like you can be experimental yeah. and change things up all you want and I'm, and I, I, again, who, they're not trying to please me, you know, yeah, <laughs> I get it. Right, right, but, right. But I mean, I, I, I feel like that's one of my favorite parts about Avenged Sevenfold is they, they're really good at writing these really kick-ass rock songs, but they also have, you know, awesome hooks in it, you know, at a time mm -hmm. when most bands were doing like fucking screamo emo music, like this band decided to be Guns N' Roses and, you know, yeah. throw in 80s metal solos, but also um you know have super catchy choruses as well so I, that's yeah. that's my only beef with the record so far yeah and i haven't listened to it enough times somebody in the chat says it doesn't fluff Maybe. my pillows yeah that's another one of my use of <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one that's a good yeah. one actually. i have a lot of them I, I just try to roll through as many as possible when i get when i get going <laughs> yeah I, I i agree i think I think a lot of us with, with these with these older bands, it's like mm. nostalgia. So so you're just so desperately like trying to get that same feeling you felt when you heard them the first time. Yeah. And and it, like Event Shovel are just different now. It's the same yeah. with like Bring Me the Horizon. Like they're just different now. Right. And and, and it, like it's okay to prefer older stuff, but um, if you if you're try if you're just trying to have that same feeling again, yeah, and the band's changing, you're probably not going to. So it, it's it, but it's hard to right. to to separate that out because that's just your natural tendency. It's just to go and think this is what I like. This band's yeah. this. Like give me this. And they don't give it to you. You're like, you know. And that's what's so. funny too is like I'm reverse on event on uh Bring Me the Horizon because mm -hmm. I never really got into their deathcore stuff and I really listened to them yeah. in the 2010s. I kind of fell off listening to that style of music when they came mm. out you know i think it was because i was like 2013 maybe maybe earlier mm. but i kind of fell off listening to that kind of music for a while so i never got into that but i love what they're doing now like, i love their and I, I go back and listen to their you know even like their you know mid right, right before they started doing like ammo and like the more experimental mm -hmm. stuff i love all that too but yeah i love what it 
Bring Me the Horizon is doing right now. And yeah. I see that whenever I post about them, like people give me shit in the comments that they were better when they were death cores. Like, oh, you mean that yeah. one fucking album? I'm like, come on, like move on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. That one album like 10 plus years yeah. ago. Okay, like, yeah, got Jesus it. Christ, guys. I, I love the new song. So a- good. Amen. Yeah, Amen. so good. Amen. Um, that's a really good song. Yeah, it was really cool to get song. Glassjaw on it, which is like a great yeah. pull, like a good pull from like the old, old, you know, the old uh, 2000s emo love. Yeah. The fucking little Uzi Vert for some reason, but it's great. It's fucking great. Yeah. Uh, so I like I said, I love like trap metal. So you yeah. toss in a little bit of like hip hop in there, like rap. Yeah. I'm 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 down. I'm down for it. So I I I really like the new one. But, if uh, the new Bring Me album doesn't have a collab with a hundred Gex on it, I will be super super surprised, man. I'll be blown away if they don't. Yeah. I mean, they the Bring Me the Rising can just do whatever they want now. Yeah. I used to I used to like go live on TikTok. And people would be like, oh, they like changed their sound. And I'm like, but they, they've earned the right to do yeah. absolutely whatever they want. <laughs> they can yeah. have whoever they want on a song and they can do whatever they want and make whatever sound they want because they've they've done it now. Yeah. They're good. Yeah. They're good and every time they the do something, movie. everyone else kind of like picks up on it and like starts yeah. doing it and it becomes like the trend. Someone, uh, yeah. Corey in the chat says, content idea. Say, Bring Me the Horizon is heavy metal in your yeah. next video and then watch people's brains explode. <laughs> yeah. That's good. That's yeah. a good one. That you guys a, ready for this I've, heavy metal? I, I've thought about doing like um, on that same vein, like videos just to purposefully just oh, yeah. get after people. Just poke people. But, but I'm also, I don't need that. In my, I, yeah. I, I think that it'll be funny, but then I don't want to deal with the aftermath. Like yeah. I think it'd be funny just to just mess with people, but then I just want to leave it. I don't want to have yeah, to go yeah. back and like deal with it. I but, made the um, mistake of, uh, I made an April Fool's video a couple of years ago, mm-hmm. a couple of April Fool's ago, and it was a, uh, Here's the five heaviest, darkest yeah. metal songs that you, only true metal heads will fucking understand. Yeah. Like, I made it. I mean, I wore a leather jacket in the video. I, I got real into it. Yeah. And then I put like uh, Nickelback, Buck Cherry. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember the other two. Just a lot of butt rock. And like the number one yeah. band was uh, Rick Astley. Never gonna give you up. Yeah. You know. So obviously yeah, yeah, yeah. got Rick Roll at the end. But so yeah. the thing is, obviously the way the algorithm works, that video got pushed out way after April Fool's Day. So like, I yeah. got comments on that just like fucking three months ago you know and this was like yeah. almost two years ago and so people see it now and they're like what the fuck is this guy talking about nickel because they don't watch until the end they don't they don't right. see if they're getting rick rolled they're like right. why is this guy thinking nickel packs <laughs> yeah 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 oh no that'd be good. because i, I want to do like an april fool uh, i wanted to do and maybe i'll still do it i want to do like i want to try and find a band yeah that wants to wants to work with me on an april fool's video and like have me like pretend to be like a guest vocalist on it there you go <laughs> that'd be cool and just like do a whole like bit like yeah. just try and like like get them to like have me like even have them like do it on their end too yeah like try and awesome. have me as a guest vocalist. i think that'd be funny <laughs> but i have to get a band that's down to just do some fake pr for me oh, but i don't know who's gonna do that i'm sure you can find some, I, I, you can find Someone a couple will. couple bands being into that for sure some of them will well, Matt or Max, whoever you decide to call you right oh, now. Whatever. whatever um, you want. Whatever you want. It's all good. <laughs> it was good chatting you with you. We got uh we got a good hour of content in. So that's yes. always that's always a good day. It's great talking to another fellow bearded, metal loving, yes. hat wearing homie who likes yes, to work out too. Agreed. <laughs> it was an honor to come on. Thank you for having me. Seriously. It's, it was, it's and where fun. where can all the where can all the millions hey, millions of Jesse Lee fans find Matt Bevan? Um, Instagram at Matt Bevan TT and TikTok just at Matt Bevan. That's where oh, I'm yeah. at. That's where I'm gonna be. Brother, go get your workout yeah. in if you haven't already. Go eat your oats and your pro- and get your protein in. Get those thirty five hundred calories in, boy. The goal. That's the goal. <laughs> all right, brother. Take care. Please. Have a good one. Bye bye.